to so many people begged for a call. And so I'm going to lay it out here for you all. This is now in your hands. We don't have any special guests really lined up. I think Tank may join us and Black Eyed Peas, my sweet beat, might join us. And, of course, Martha. Martha is here. I'm here. Always our anchor. And, and and that's really about it. So if you're expecting anything monumentally intel-wise, <laughs> ain't happening <laughs> unless somebody might jump in, you know, with something. So you they can all hang out now or go, go, Martha. They want you. Oh, wait a yeah, let, Martha, let, can me, you... let me do the. Let me do, sure get Joseph if he wants to yeah, come on. Sure. <laughs> I, I let me do the disclaimer that we're not, you know, tax professionals, attorneys, blah blah blah. Um, and you know, if Admin was here, he'd have the like the whole original thing. But the bottom line is, you can't sue us because we're just exchanging information and you know having a conversation. So there you have it. If anyone else would like to jump in. That'd be great. Other than that, we're just going to let it rip here tonight. And Sunny, again, thank you so much for setting this all up on such short notice. Thank you, Sunny. Oh, Bodie, 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 Bodie is here. God, don't forget Bodie. Okay, Bodie. Yes, hello. Have you anything for us? Bodie, have you anything for us? I just heard early this morning there's a gag order going on with Iraq. And I heard that there's codes going on all over the place. We should be hearing something shortly. So okay. take us what it's now, worth. Can, could you repeat that more slowly so that Blondie could kind of comprehend that? Well, the banks supposedly have their codes. So what exactly – so now that came out with Ray's tweet, correct? No, it was also confirmed by um, our people. But I think it's actually oh. I heard it I heard it yesterday. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now can you explain what that means that they have the code? That that it they could actually do if I understand it correctly they could actually do an exchange now. There's no pending. There's no administrative. There's no I mean boom it's there it's done. Oh this is good. Now, do do we know of anyone who's actually been able to do it, or is it because the banks were closed today? I personally don't know anybody. Okay. I mean, if and, anybody and, I, and I'm like... not even willing to go in and, and ask because I know that it's just going to come to us when it's supposed to come to us. Yeah, and, and so if anybody has an answer to that, please raise your hand. If any of you can answer that question that I just posed to Bodie, please raise your hand. And, and we'll get to you <laughs> right <Okay>. away. <laughs> it, immediately, yes. And all the hands, and Bodie, all the hands just went down, except for somebody in Oklahoma. And so oh, Oklahoma, that's okay. He's, he's, Oklahoma's going to take the plunge for all of us, and I'm going to unmute 405. Oklahoma. Beautiful. I know. Oklahoma. Come on down the diving board. Oklahoma, 408, 405, go. My, 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 they got all excited and then left. <laughs> yeah, come on, Oklahoma. Goodness. Isn't hey, this everybody. Just, just to let you know, Whoopi's in the house. Thank you, King. Okay. Thank you, dear. I just texted him. <laughs> oh, Whoopi, come on, bring it on in for us. Go ahead. I don't have anything to say except what's already been said, and I missed the question to Bodie. I no. just got in. No, sweetheart, I'm talking about the how. How? Okay. My, my, my. You can you you can do better than that. You well, I know, but I, I know, but I've got neighbors. Hey, Blondie. <laughs> yes, Blondie. Excuse me. Can you turn the volume up? Someone asked. <laughs> to to what now? Someone asked if we could turn the volume up. I didn't know we could control that. <laughs> you need to oh. be loud. All right. So I don't know how to do that one, Martha. Oh, I don't either. Oh well. 
Okay. All right, Wolfie. We're gonna. I'm gonna give you a pass on that one. Just sit I tight, think please. someone else out there that you need to open up with a New I, York I, area code. Is it 916? Oh, okay. Yes, that would here. be Tank. Tank, yeah. Apparently. Yeah, okay. Hey, Martha, I don't see Tank. I don't see 917. I see oh, Beep. I see Black Eyed Peas. All you is I'm not on yet. All right, maybe he's still coming in. All right. Okay. This is Black Eyed Peas. Yeah, he should be coming on. Can you hear me? I yeah. can hear you, Beep. Okay. Hey, Martha, how you doing? Hi, honey. I put the word out. Everyone's trying good. to get in, so. <laughs> good. Um, I, I got a text with some very, very good information, but I think, um, I think I'm gonna let Tank take it because uh-huh. from from the text I got, um, I'm not gonna touch it yet. And I'm not just saying this to say it. You know, some people just say things to say it. But the text I got, I think if, if Tank uh, synchronizes with it, I'm going to let him when he comes on. So uh, okay. I'm going to let him because we got the same info. Okay? Okay. So, okay, Beep. That'll be good. good. That's, so you're going to hang it's, with it's us. But it's very, it's very good. Yeah, I'm going to mute out. Mm-hmm. But you're, you're, okay. you're, you're going to hang, right? You're going to hang. Yeah, so, I'll be, so yeah, I'll be here. So mm-hmm. Okay, uh, sweetheart. Yeah. Thank you so much. All right. Oh, and okay. I see command is on. Command, thank you for letting us do this. And you know, I this have... is all spur of the moment, and we're just <laughs> we're just killing time with Blondie here. So <laughs> sounds like a good plan. You guys have fun. I I'll just listen in tonight. Hi, Martha. Hi, Annie. How are you? Hi, Hello, Hi. Bill. How? Are, hey, Wolfie. How is everybody? Everybody uh-huh. doing good. Doing good. Great. Well, you guys have fun. I'll listen in mm-hmm. so I can find out what's going on because I don't have a clue. Being None working, of us do. Uh, <laughs> None of us do. That's right, Admin. Okay, so we're going to go back to Oklahoma City, and hopefully you're you're hanging with us 405. Can you come on in? Hello? Yes, hello, 405. I'm sorry. I guess I should have uh, put my hand you, down. <laughs> oh, oh, darn. And I thought you really had some good info. You know, like the 405 that Johnny I'm Carson sorry, used to make fun of? I, I'm sorry about that. That's okay, hon. All we right, all make huge to... mistakes like that. <laughs> <laughs> I, love you, I, love you, I love you guys' show, and I'll just hang back and listen to you guys. Okay. Okay. I'm going to mute you here, darling. Okay, now, but we have now Oakland Union, Texas. Sure you that. are now unmuted for any question you might have. Go ahead. Uh, what if I don't have a question? Oh, Is that you right? Can, you can then give us a comment. Yeah, give us a comment. I got some, inter- I some information. Yeah, I've talk- some of you know about it. I met with my congressman in Wichita Falls, Texas a few days back, and a question was asked about Paul Ryan, and he said that as soon as he hit the ground running, he put six task force, forces together, and yeah. two, of those, two of those is for replacing Obamacare, and the other one's tax plan. How and he didn't, he didn't elaborate anymore, but he he's on he's all for Paul Ryan. He was he was impressed with him. And also, a good oh. friend in Georgia. Go ahead. You got a question? No, no, no. Keep going. Keep going. Sorry. Keep going. All right. I have a friend in Georgia that got a wealth manager at Wells Fargo to talk to him, and he got the usual spill of we're not miss. Uh, exchanging those currencies right now. But then he gets an email from the guy, and the guy invited him to lunch next week. He wants huh? to talk. Gave him his cell phone number. So I thought that was good. That's okay. all I've got. Okay, so let me ask you about, I heard this thing about the six laws that Brian, I guess, drafted. The, the I mean, six, certainly he, he six can't tax- pass them. No, How can he can't he pass, pass them? them but he wants he wants all these ready to go to the floor and vote on as soon as Obama's gone. 
he's wanting these these task forces to get all these laws ready to be voted on and be all you know all the details ironed out to where they can have a vote as soon as Obama's out of office. That's okay, the is there a draft of them anywhere to be read? Do you know? Uh, the, I doubt that. I'm sure. That, um, I don't know how long they've been working on these. Does Paul Ryan have, okay. hasn't been in been the Speaker of the House very long? I mean, this is, and I'm sure when he started this, this was planned. This was supposed to be ready as when he gets out of office on this normal, his normal ten years up. Okay. What? What? Can you hang with us for a while? Because people might have some uh, questions. Okay. Okay. This is Agman. I'm going to mute you, but keep. Oh, it's Agman. Yes, oh, all right. Agman, you're my number two fan. That New Zealand well, thank dude. You. you know, he's my right. number one fan. I wish he'd come on. <laughs> Blondie's okay. number one fan is Blondie. <laughs> Your number one fan is Blondie, Blondie. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have a runoff. How about that? <laughs> but, oh, okay. Yeah. I, wanted to say, I wanted to say hello to Eggman. I haven't been able to talk to him, so hi, Eggman. Hello, Wolfie. Can I ask Eggman a question? I don't know, Mark. It depends on how... On just Kind of oh, he's from the great the question. Sis. And if you're going to be flirting with him, then no, you can't ask. No, him. no, no. I've already been linked to too many. <laughs> no, Agman, the beautiful state of this. Have you guys gotten your gold yet and your bank up, honey? I don't know. We they're working on that. They still haven't gotten it going yet, though, huh? I haven't. I haven't seen any information on. It. I just know that's in the works. Okay. Which I think that's awesome. All right. Okay, right, Eggman. I'll... Thank you. So sit tight here with us, okay? All right. Okay. Now um, we're gonna go to Arlington, Texas. Eight one seven. Eight one seven. You. Give us your best shot, baby. Hello, this is Steve in Texas. How you doing? We're hey, doing great. I got a question for whoever, Martha, whoever. You know, in the middle of last week, uh, yeah, Yosef was talking about make, making an announcement on being go back. And you kind of, through all this process, the last couple of days, kind of got lost. Uh, and I guess I'm wondering... Do, do, does the current government have to make the announcement before we go to the bank? No. No? No, no. Because, uh, like, uh, Bruce, the United everyone States makes a... That way. Go ahead. It would have been uh, nice to have done it that way as a cover for us to go to the bank. But everything is just sort of off-center right now, so... I'll, you know, that's why I don't even ask dates, rates, or anything. This is not rolling as it was originally planned. All right? So um, I've heard rumors that be another five days after we go into the bank. So it's crazy. I mean, it's still okay. a lot of disinformation. Let's just let it go oh. for the moment. Hey, Martha and, and Arlington, I'm going to mute you out. Uh, Hank has arrived. And Yay! <laughs> we'll get to hear what he has to say. So, Tank, mm. let's go. Uh, Let her rip, buddy. Come on in, Tank. I've been waiting. Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> yeah, I'm here. Hang on. Hang on a second. Uh, Y'all can hear me? Yeah. We can hear you fine. Okay. I'm going to mute everyone else out except for B. Because I know that he has um, some interaction to go through with you. So if you, yo, you know these oh, black, guests black are so them. good. They just they mute themselves out. It's wonderful. So hey, uh, ahead, hey, Tank. hey, 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 Tank. I think you got the same text I did. So I'm gonna let you handle that if you want to. Um, you know what I'm talking about. So you go ahead and give that out. Uh, I'm gonna step back and listen to what you have to say because I, I think I think uh, we got the same thing. 
Uh, and if, if and if we did, you probably got it about a half an hour ago. Uh, yeah, and happy yeah, birthday, Beef. Huh? Happy birthday, Beef, you young gun. Oh, yeah, yeah. That that. So the RV needs to happen in the next uh, 10 days or something? Oh, the 26th, For, right. But yeah. there will be no birthday song. So just no. be prepared for that. <laughs> All right, Tank. I'm gonna mute out, man. You go ahead and handle that if if you, if you have the uh, if, if you have the permission to do so. Oh yeah, man. Okay. Yeah, Couldn't resist. Okay. Couldn't resist. All right. It's killing time with Blondie. Go ahead, Tank. <laughs> All right. Um. Well, I let me just clarify something uh, that might have been said before on the call. I heard uh, that uh, someone mentioned that um, Canada. We have to go with Canada. Is that correct? Is that what someone said? Anybody? News to me. Did, I didn't hear that. Okay, well, if that is the case, uh, that we do have to go with Canada, um, and uh, that would be the reason that, um, yes, uh, Trudeau was, uh, I'm not sure, he was in the United States somewhere, but I don't have the exact details on that. But what I can tell you is that there are uh, groups in Canada, specific banks in Canada, that have been notified and verified that uh, said codes that we discussed about releasing the administrative hold so that transactions could actually be completed, that Canada has those and they are implementing them immediately and they fully expect 800 numbers to leave out this evening. Um, that would be in line with everything that we were hearing from our banks. If you have received several confirmations from, uh, excuse me, I'm getting a text now. Um, I see, received several confirmations that the reports, the SID reps did, were put out by uh, Operation Disclosure slash Yosef slash Anonymous, uh, that those are, in fact, accurate, um, which I think is something that not everyone can fully embrace. So if I can put that in terms of just, if you can just keep focused on the actual RV details of those uh, SID reps, because I know not everyone fully embraces um, the entirety of that. Uh, that those details are, in fact, accurate, and that uh, the power is in the hands of Wells Fargo, um, and essentially the banks, and they did, in fact, uh, pause things so that they all go together. The Wells were, uh, began their process yesterday. I don't have an exact hour on that. It was uh, left rather vague. Um, but there are at least four groups that I know of personally uh, and directly where their paymaster has been notified that uh, their funds will be released. In some cases, the SKRs are expected to be hydrated uh, by Monday morning so that they have usable cash. And there are also uh, humanitarian projects that have been, uh, that are funded by the historic bonds, um, and that the historic bonds are moving. And, the, uh, and that's another organization up in Canada that they've been, uh, communicate with me and tell me what's going on. Um, what else? Uh, I can say that those things have been confirmed not only by banking sources, but I also know that banking sources have been told to be quiet. Uh, the people in the bank who are in Nome, as of 4 o'clock in the morning yesterday, uh, they were, you know, told that not to talk to anyone, not to reveal any information to intel sources at all. <laughs> um, obviously, that doesn't always hold. but um, And uh, they did tell me that they expect this to go at any minute. They did confirm. Uh, now, if Ray Wren's report is accurate, because I don't know exactly when those went into effect, but if he was aware of the codes being released to the banks as of yesterday, then I would say that that 72-hour window where that those codes are live began sometime yesterday. So at what time? At what time, Tank? Yesterday? What time? Oh, I you know I don't have the exact time on that. Uh, that's that's. But I if I just put it as yesterday, uh, I know it was reported today. But um, I know at 5:30 a.m. today there was banks that received the codes, but I don't know if that means if that's entirely accurate. Um, you know, Martha mentioned that there's a lot of disinformation. So the disinformation in this case, um, somebody mentioned this. I thought it was really intelligent. Uh, I want to say it's a subprime guru said this to me. She said uh, it used to be that they would mention something every year. Then it got down to every six months, then every month, 
then every week, then every day. At this point, I literally receive updates hour to hour about how eminent this is, which is the exact reason why I keep saying, like, this is where we're at. Now, obviously it hasn't been accurate up to this point, but the things going on behind the scenes are really in line with uh, that intel being correct. Um, and it's too, the sources are too diverse uh, from banking sources in the West to uh, banking sources in Canada to banking sources here to banking sources in Florida, which pretty much covers our entire country and then up into Canada, then some government sources that provide mm -hmm. even much more depth information of why we're going to get this done and how soon. And then uh, the humanitarian groups is something new that I've been speaking to them to find out more, and they've been discussing the bonds being released. And then um, most recently, a, uh, a group that I don't think I can mention where they're out of because I don't want to say anything. They actually sent me the the notification email to share. I mean, to share with me, but obviously I can't re repeat it or share it. But uh, so I've actually seen the email to let them know that they have that they are um, getting ready to release the funds at any second. Um, so. It's too many sources reporting the exact same thing, basically, that, uh, you know, we're right there. And uh, okay. this can go live any second. Tank, I would like to let Beep go next and, and ask you questions. And then would you be willing to stay online and ask, answer questions that people might have? And I don't want to put you on the spot. If, you know, if you don't want to do that, that's fine. But if you do, that would be great. Right. Well, yeah, I'm fine asking okay. questions or answering questions. Whatever anybody wants to ask, I'll answer the best of my ability, and I'll, uh, you know, please know that I'm more than comfortable telling people no. <laughs> so, and and believe me, Tank, if they get out of hand, they'll get the Blondie smackdown. So don't worry, I have your back. Blondie, so you'd be surprised. I'm, I'm surprisingly good with people. I, I bet I can handle it. It'll be okay. <laughs> okay, Beep, go ahead and add whatever you have. Yeah, he, he he was spot on, actually, with the Canada stuff and the code being released in Canada. He was spot on with that. That's really what um, what I had along with the uh, uh, the different groups or whatnot. So that's what I didn't want to say until he could verify with his sources that was the deal. So if that's the case, mm -hmm. and we believe it is, I think we are, we are really not that far. I know we give all these windows and whatnot, but I think... Uh, we're not that far. And I want to say something else, too. I really don't think that the authors of the plan and the people that are handling this now to make sure that we are uh, safely in the banks and exchanging, I really don't think they're leaving much to chance as far as one particular person has to do this. I think I, I think there are some contingency plans, and hopefully there are. I think they're very smart people. Um, so in saying that, I don't think they're leaving this in the hands of somebody making an announcement because if that person happens not to make the announcement, that means it shuts the whole system down. So I don't really think they're doing that. I think they'll go around that if need be, and I'm kind of with Martha. This may happen after uh, the privates and whatnot have exchanged and they've gotten a handle on things. So that's pretty much all I have, but, but Tank hit that on, on top of the head, what I had. Okay, thanks, Beep. And I, I just want to um, throw something in here. I read on the board, but I didn't get the whole thread. Something about a question about the Zim and Obama passing thirteen three ninety one or something. Yeah, that was um, that 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 was that was something that last week I think it was it, it was it, I think it was March sixth, and somebody can verify that. There was a re-signing of that particular bill. Now I'm understanding it had to do with some terrorism and whatnot that would comes from that region. Um, but I just say just read it. You know, if you all can look it up and read it and see what you think about it. So, Beep, what you say is that in your interpretation, really a non-issue for us holding them. That that I I mean that I don't know. And that's why I've been looking for people that have actually exchanged them. If people have already exchanged them, like they have dinar, then I don't think we have an issue. 
But if the early people have just been exchanged in the Nar, we still really don't know about them. I know what Yosef has been saying, but we need to find somebody that has actually exchanged them. And if that exists, then we shouldn't have an issue because you can't let one group do it and then everybody else gets shut down. Okay, So if they did it and it's good, then we should be able to do it and be good, but we need to find that out, and I really don't know how to do that. Okay, thank you. And, and now I just, because it is, you know, killing time with Blondie, have a, want to throw something out there. If that's Executive Order 13391, wasn't it Executive Order 13330 that allowed us to buy dinar, which would mean if you do the arithmetic, that there would only be 61 executive orders issued since 13300. Someone please help help the blonde here. Well, I can tell you that um, I know a little bit about that. That's not uh, whatever was reported today. Um, I don't know enough about it, but I can say that it was reported to me to be disinformation. Um, that's about all I can say about it, because <laughs> I don't I don't really understand it. Um, I think that a lot of this minutia with the administrative, anything administrative coming out now at this point, uh, that would imply that it's holding the process up, you can pretty much bank on it being misinformation, because there's nothing holding this up. This is already done. Blondie, it's Bodie. Blondie? Well, it looks like Blondie fell off, but I do recall there was a couple of months ago somebody in Canada um, exchanged Zim. So for Black IP, that is that was a fact. Zim was exchanged at three cents. Well, if, that, if, if that's the case then, Bodie, then I don't think we have an issue. Um, I never thought yeah. I never thought we had an issue, but just to go ahead and answer your question, I I, I know Ray reported that uh, a few months ago. Yeah, well, well, that's good news. Um, with it, in in that regard, is very good news because, like I said, it's it's kind of hard to uh, you have recourse of action if there has been a group or groups, and then when you get to the exchange center, then there's this other thing pulled out. I think we have a great recourse of action to go ahead and exchange what we have. Um, but, yeah, so that, that's good news. And so I'm kind of with Tank. If it's done, it's done. Um, we've heard a lot about this one holding it up, this one holding it up. But if it's done, it's done. Even what you're yeah, seeing Yeah, I don't think Iraq anything's holding point. it up. I, it's going to roll out the way it's supposed to roll out when it's going to roll out. And, 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 I mean, we're there. We're there. As, as I like to say, we go now. Bodhi. Yes, ma'am. Bodhi and Beep. That's Thank you. Man. Oh, I blondied myself. <laughs> I picked up the ball for you, Chicky. It's okay. I'll mute myself Thank out you, now. Thank you, honey. I'm good now. I'm good. Okay. So, and oh, we now have lots of hands raised. Let's go to someone new. We're going to go to Grand Prairie, Texas. Nine seven two, you're unmuted. Nine seven two. And then everybody else needs to mute because You muted me. Okay, 972, hang your phone up, okay? Two one four in Grand Prairie, Texas. You're on. Hello. Go ahead. Can you hear me? Hello. Mm-hmm. 
Hello? Hello, we could hear you. Blondie keeps muting herself out. Go right ahead and ask your question. 972? Oh, 214, I mean. This exchange. 214, go right ahead and ask your question. Yeah, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Okay, uh, at the time of the exchange, um, will it be, will it, will the banks, uh, whatever bank we just choose to deal with, will they have the rates of the other banks? Will they be able to see that to save us the trouble of saying if you're not satisfied with the rate somewhere else, you know, getting up and walking out or or having to reschedule another appointment? Do you I don't, I don't think so, but let's see. Maybe Tank can answer that. Oh, I, I can say one well, I keep getting down. Yes. Go ahead, oh, okay. Uh, I can tell you this. Um, I really would be at ease about the whole entire exchange process. Um, in reality, decide what bank you want to go to. The one thing I would say that if you have major projects you want to do, like you have things, you have a vision of this, you know, miraculous future, and you really you're sitting on a lot of Zim. Right. If you have Zim, I would say go to Wells Fargo. Well, far okay, I have quite a bit of them. I have quite a bit of them. You know, you're coming in kind of garbled, at least on my end. No. That could just be me. My Galaxy Note is uh, beat, beat up. Sorry about that. So, um, yeah, I would say you definitely want to set your appointment with Wells Fargo. Wells Fargo will set up a trust for you. Uh, you don't have to have an account with them. They are the clearinghouse bank. Um, they're going to give you the best possible rates. And there's, there's no one else is going to be able to match those rates. There was rumors some time ago that there, if you went to another bank and you heard about caps on things, all that is if you don't do it with Wells Fargo. You can cancel all that out by dealing with Wells Fargo directly. They're going to give you the best possible rates. You're going to, you're going to be so happy that you went with them. Because there was a time when we were 27 cents and we almost lost our minds. And I would say, you know, 27 cents you should easily get without even batting an eyelash. And I would really reflect on the things that Joseph said if you want to take that money. But I'd really make sure that you know what you want to do with it, you know. Okay, right, right. I know uh, Blondie had mentioned this before, and she kind of said, you know, just get the exchange done. Well, if you are sitting on a lot of Zim, you're potentially sitting on, you know, potentially billions of dollars. In that case, if that's what you're sitting on, they're going to take the time, that very first appointment, to sit down with you would actually help you prep your business plan. Mm -hmm. So in this case, make sure you go in. I mean, if that's what you're doing, look, if you just, what, you know, if you can take a much lesser rate that is still going to be amazing at a, like a, another bank that maybe you're more comfortable with. If, you know, the only reason why you want the money is just so that you're comfortable in your family, which is fine. Um, and but you'll get a much lesser rate and you'll still be very comfortable. But if you have a vision of really impacting humanity, um, which is what this whole thing's all about. Um, right, right. And I got some if you have a vision like, like that, yes, I do. You now, if you have a vision like that, you know what? You can you know, put together something that just a paragraph even just describes what you want to do. And I thought um, Joseph said it beautifully. I, I really took it to heart. He said, "You know what? They're instructed. You tell them what you want to do, what you have to do in life. You, your your purpose. So you know that you're here to." Uh, you know, save all the African pygmy frogs of South Venezuela, and that is your life's goal, and you will not be happy till that happens, and you think you need this much money to do it, tell them that. You know, but make sure you, you know. You know if, and, like, and if you don't know, it's okay, too. They'll help you. And keep in mind, they're going to be very, very helpful. You don't need to know everything. So don't stress out about that. But, you know, right. these guys are just, they're, they're, their whole job is to make you money and, and teach you how to manage your money. So it's okay that you're not an expert with money. We've had experts managing the money for a long time, and you can see the state of things. So this path is, if I can say it this way, this is no one's told me this, this is my opinion. Imagine taking people that are just good people, just kind, generous, loving, innately giving, and giving them a bulk of the wealth. 
what would happen? That money would end up getting dispersed. <laughs> but if all I'm doing is taking my money and making money, then it's not going to get dispersed. I'm going to keep it. Now, you can do both, though. You can be very comfortable, and you can help mankind. So I'd recommend if you – it sounds like you got a good project, I'd definitely go to Wells Fargo. Okay. Okay, thanks. And also, uh, another quick note is that if we take um, – Money moving it from an entity into a trust, would it still would suffer? Um, would that be a tax imposed on it? Well, there's what I understand is a 17% flat tax, but I can't say that definitively. I don't know. You know, we, okay. we won't know until we get there. But uh, right, I think right. everybody's going to get. You know, if you have a trust, you're still going to get taxed. I mean, I have a trust okay. now. All my money goes in my trust. I mean, already, but I'm still every cent I take out will still get taxed. Okay. No, yeah, yeah. Moving it from one entity and actually once it revalues and putting it in the trust, we will have to pay that tax fee no matter how we move it. I believe. I don't know. I'm, I've been trying to find the answer to that question for a while. I wouldn't. I honestly, I, you're going to have so much money. You don't even know what to do with it. Like the the bigger issue uh, is a really intelligent uh, person I spoke to the other day about this. Um, she said the, the the biggest the biggest challenge is not going to be making more money. It's going to be using the money. That okay. You have. Okay. <laughs> okay, I appreciate okay. it. Thanks for the answer. I really appreciate everybody, and uh, and I wish the best for everybody once this happens and everybody starts their new lives and helping people. Thanks a lot. So, 214, was that you having your own private conversation with Tank? Uh, I think Blondie so. Because <laughs> Blondie fell off the call and had some technical issues. But okay, was that yeah. You? Oh. Uh, yes, ma'am. <laughs> okay. Well, I just don't want to cut you out of the, the lineup. No, no, so, no. Thank you. I appreciate did, it. I got it. I got it answered. Did you have all your questions answered there? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. All right, sweetie. Take your hand down, and we're going to go to area code 904. 904. Good evening. That would be you, 904. Can you hear me okay? can hear you fine. Excellent. I had a question on kind of something different, but um, this is about the process. That at the end of Kuwait, Jack Lou and Janet Yellen were there to help finish that. Now Jack Lou and Janet Yellen are very vital in our country, interestingly enough. And now Alan Greenspan, a former powerful leader in the Treasury and the Fed, is in Iraq right now. So if Martha's there, who wants to comment? Is Alan Greenspan acting almost in the same capacity to finish Iraq as maybe this final, I'll say, piece of the puzzle, if you will? Well, I'll give you a comment on that. He married Andrea Mitchell. So take it from there. I hate to say this, but I do not know who Andrea Mitchell is, but all I know well, is Jack. Andrea Blondie, Mitchell is the big Blondie, oh, yeah. you're dating yourself. <laughs> no, Alan Greenspan no, is what? Green, Eight plus years old. David himself, and so did she. Isn't that I, hilarious? Thing, and maybe I'm not too sure, but I have a sneaking suspicion that, from what I understand, the UST is not the UST that we know. There is a new UST, and it may be possible that Alan Greenspan has come back to take over that position. I know he's well, 85 you know, Mar- years old, Martha? but... Yeah. Martha, you know, from an um, intellectual kind of thing. Yeah. Would that make sense? I know I'm, I'm seriously asking. I'm not making fun. Yeah, I'm would not sure. Would that make sure. sense that he would? He would, had a would, would that be a good choice? I don't know. Not at his age, but then, hey, <laughs> everyone else is up there right now in age. He had a plan that would have been implemented way back when. If they had redone and introduced the gold standard, um, there was a whole write-up about that plan, okay? Unless he's just going to be like, um, 
what's his name, who came back to Iraq but isn't staying as their central bank person. Who's that? That should be right? Shabibi. He could yeah. be the same position as an emissary to handle, carry over everything, you know, in the transition. That's all I'm going to say. Martha, and then in that case, the, he would be a, a good recommendation to do that at least. Jacksonville, go ahead. Jacksonville, go ahead with that. Yes, ma'am. Martha, Greenspan's announcement back when was supposed to be on 9 11 of 2001, correct? That's right. You're right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let, me, let me just end it this way. I know All you right. smell what the rock is cooking. Yes, Green I do. And wanted to go back to the gold standard mm -hmm. and get the fiat money off the street. Well, what if that's what he's doing right now? Uh, probably he is. That was part of the plan. Um, and and I can understand where he would be in this position to do that as, you know, as our representative as such. Just like Shabibi. I don't think is actually going back to the CBI, but he was there for the transmission, the transition. All right, and that's that's it. So, um, who better to do this than Alan Greenspan? Better is right. I have nothing against Jack Lou, believe me. He's had a major job and a, a very big responsibility. Um, and then, to be honest with you, with the Federal Reserve sort of going off to the wayside. The U.S. Treasury does now become our central bank. So, again, it's a major transition on both sides. Let's take it from there. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Green, okay. yeah green so Jacksonville, Jacksonville, let me ask you this. In your okay. mind, do you think it's a good thing for Greenspan to be involved in this? I, I mean, I Absolutely. kind of got that from the conversation, but my phone's going crazy. So I'm, I'm pick up bits and pieces. But besides that, that Jack Lew and Janet Yellen are in positions once again to assist not only our country, we'll say, but a revaluation of a country, Kuwait, now Iraq, but now it's a global currency reset. We have players that okay. know how to do this, and they're back into the game. Okay. Hey, Jacksonville, will you hang on? Because be you know, other people might have some questions, so stick with us, okay? I'll do my best. I'm going to mute you, but keep your hand up, okay? No problem. So we're going to go to, if I don't fade out here, Jacksonville 904. Jacksonville, go ahead. Hello? Yes, ma'am. Go ahead. Oh, okay. I was saying hello before. I thought you had picked me before, but I'm glad you got to me now. Thank you. Um, I just had a question for Tank about the the emails. Um, the Canada banks have received the codes. What about the U.S. banks? Tank, you're up. Uh, hi. Okay. Um, yeah, so uh, I have it 100%. Uh, the U.S. banks have received the codes. Um, I have that from uh, four separate sources at this time. Uh, the the codes, and just to explain it, a uh, member of our chat did a beautiful job making sure this was clear to people today. Uh, Deep Cash, uh, she said basically that it's a process, and the way the process works, obviously the money has to be there. So the money has been made available, and now that the money is made available, uh, they said they've been looking at rates sitting on the screen for about six months now. And to finally have the admin hold release means we could have gone in, processed an entire transaction, get right to the end, and it would say admin hold. So now your thanks also have the release of the actual codes to let that go so they can take it off admin hold and process your exchanges. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for that. And the other thing, I'm glad I got on the call. I just wanted to put this out there for people to research. On the website Dinar Inc., which is um, a website that you can buy currency off of. I'm not affiliated with them at all. But I was on there the other day, and on their main page, it has a little thing on there that says that it's illegal for U.S. citizens to buy 
Iran's currency, not Iraq, Iran. It said it's illegal that the sanctions were lifted for non-U.S. people and that it's illegal for U.S. people or U.S. financial institutions to buy Iran, I guess it's the Ryle. So I'm just putting that out there. If people have that, they may not want to walk in the bank with it before they check that out. And that's all I have. Um, I I know that you're exchanging the Iranian real, and I know that you you are putting Iranian real that you won't get arrested or anything. Um, okay. Well, I just saw that on there. I don't have any of that, and I just didn't want people to you know have it illegally or get in trouble for that. And I just was putting it out there to check it out before you go in the bank with it. That's all. That's a so. good recommendation. I think that's very thoughtful of you. Yeah. All right. Well, y'all have a good evening. Thank you so much. Okay. Thanks so much, ma'am. And um, we now have Mitt is available to us. So I'm going to unmute him and let him rip. Go ahead, Mitt. Mitt, did you hear me? There? Can hear yeah, you. Yeah, I'm here. Go ahead. What would you like, what would you like me to answer? <laughs> How about you just let it spew? Whatever you know. Otherwise, I can open the line and and then you'll be flooded um, with well, questions. Let, let, but we, but you know what? You really know what we want, Mick. Date and race. Uh, Actually, for me, date would be good. How about this? Actually, Mick, a date would be good. <laughs> Let's say any moment. Now, everybody should be laughing over that one. <laughs> I got what you're so saying. So go, go I, ahead, Mick. Um, everything's done. It's any moment, any time. Uh, Shabibi's been in the CBI for the last couple of weeks. Him and Greenspan were there for a reason to fix some of the issues in the CBI. And my understanding, that's been handled. It's basically any time right now. Everything is done. No holdups, no nothing. But I'll, I'll be glad to sit back and answer any questions. Okay. Then if you'll just hang tight, I have like 15 hands raised here. So, and, and Mick, you know what? I'm, I'm really pretty sure they're not calling about a date for Blondie. So just hang tight and, you know, the questions are going to be coming your way. So I'm going to let it go here. No problem. Um, Thank you. 770 in Georgia. You're you're good to go. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. I was wondering whether or not (laughs) – thank you. I was wondering whether or not because – I believe Tank mentioned Wells Fargo is in their hands now. If you're in the process of trying to set up a trust and you wanted to do it to include not just asset protection but the reason for privacy, which means you had to have it done before the RV, is it too late at this point to have Okay, I'm taking this one. I'm taking this one right now. This is Blondie's call. This is not about trust. This is not about all of that. You need to go back and listen to a previous call. Well, no, in I'm not. Blondie's Bl- opinion, in Blondie's opinion, this is what Blondie's doing. I'm doing a revocable trust. I've already had that set up. It's a no-brainer. And all this stuff about irrevocable, blah, 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 you... Uh, Blondie is not going to do that because we don't know how much money we're going to have. We don't know where we're going to put whatever. And I'm just saying that as me having listened to all of these trust calls for the last several years, why would you put yourself in that kind of a box when you can't take your money out without a lot of complications? So that's just me. And this call really wasn't supposed to be 
But but it actually I, I apologize for you, ma'am. I apologize to you, not for you, to you. This was just a blondie killing time call. So go ahead, ask your question, okay? Well, and I, I really no, do apologize. No, I appreciate what you were saying, Blondie, but I, I mean, I wasn't asking about particular trust. I was asking about the time frame. Um, was it too late? I mean, has it RV'd? Are we at the point that it's already RV'd that if you were trying to do it prior to, and I do understand the one that you said you were going to mention, but you know, I heard that there was some that if you were to try to do it for privacy protection as well, it needed to be done before the RV. I was trying to see, has that point already passed because somebody mentioned that um, it's in the hands of Wells Fargo, which means, I don't know, I'm like, is that does that mean we've already RV? Now, say that again about it being in the hands of Wells Fargo. Well, well, that they have the codes, and this is kind of really left in the hands of that's what I heard at the beginning, and maybe I misunderstood, and that's why I'm asking the question. I mean, if it was in the hands of Wells Fargo and they're just going to say when we can start coming into exchange, I'm <clears throat> assuming that meant we've already RV'd and we're just waiting for them to say go. Did I misunderstand what was said in the beginning of the call? Yes, I think you misunderstood. Okay, so it that, hasn't we, gone we, live yet. Has it? Maybe I should have just said, has it gone live? And then that would help me with what I wanted but, to know. Let okay, me repeat if what it's, I'm gone, let if, me, if it's, let if me it's gone live, I'm dead because I'm not okay. at the bank. I okay, don't know so, if that's a good enough answer for you. Okay. But back to your trust question. I mean, uh, yeah. we're, we're all sitting on pins and needles here. I, I don't have a call that says it's live. Okay, so then I guess we're still okay if somebody was trying to do that. Okay, I think I got Blondie. my answer. Blondie, go, go, I think you know go, what she's going to ask. Go, go, buddy. It's Martha. Go, buddy. Oh. Martha? <laughs> it's Martha. I think what she's trying to figure out is she hasn't got a trust in place. That's not important at this point, honey. You can do your trust afterwards. It, whether it's live right now, it doesn't matter. You want to just go to the bank, do your exchange, put them in the non-interest bearing accounts, okay, so they won't be swept, and, you know, make them separate accounts, then leave. Then you can work on your trust, all right? Okay. Okay, That's appreciate it. it. That's Thank all. You. And what you pick okay. for a trust, that's up to you. But I agree with Blondie. I have a CRT. It's the best way to go. No okay. restrictions. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Blondie. Thanks, Martha. You're welcome, sweetie. <laughs> okay. Let me touch, so now. Let me, touch, let, let me touch on that for a minute. Go right ahead. My understanding is they'll help you with a trust. When you go in, and I believe if you go back to your second appointment, they'll help you set up a trust. Okay. So they don't have to worry about that. If they don't have one in place, that's what the manager is there for. You just got to let them know. They'll help you with all that. Okay. Thank you so much. I just wanted, I just wanted to throw that out there. Yeah, don't. don't okay. Thank you, Matt. And, and I'm, I'm going to interject here. This whole thing about the trust and this revocable, irrevocable thing. The revocable is simply to protect your an anonymity and and um, Let me add to that because I, 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 I can settle that real quick. You know the word. Somebody help me here. You know, okay. an inheritance, inheritance tax. Here, here's the way to – okay, let me – let me – I'll speak of that. There's two things that happen. When you exchange in your name, you are on the public side. When you go with a trust, you are on the private side of the bank. So I don't care if you get a generic, but let the banker know, even if it's a two-day process, you can switch it over into a trust and become on the private side. That's all you need to worry about. 
Okay. If you don't have it done right away, let the manager know that. They're there to help you. And Mickey, that's what? exactly what I was trying to say. That's it. And and if you don't have a trust, people, like the last caller said, don't sweat bullets over it. It's it's not going to be a deal breaker. And all of this crap that's been tossed around about having a trust, and somehow it's going to allow you tax protection. Yeah, eventually it will. But don't kid yourself. Someone's going to the pay to pay the tax at some point if there's going to be a tax. This trust thing is not a tax evasion machine. And I would love for someone to come in here and tell me that I'm wrong about that. But really, for what we are in this for, at least from what I've gathered, is we just want our assets protected. Period. No one wants to not pay the tax whatever it's due, and and that's Blondie's speech. So. As we stand, there are no taxes, my understanding. That would be lovely. Wouldn't that be lovely? So here we're going to go to 269 in the land of Kellogg. 269. How's the cereal floating there? Two, six, nine. Oh, sh- oh, I must have picked her off. That's gross, Blondie. Darn. I have a, I have that tendency. Chris is going Oh, oh, we're going to go with my deal. friend. We're, I'm going to go with my friend, Nahavik, because she'll be nice to me. Nahavik, there you go. Okay, can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay. I'm going to have to disagree with you. Sorry, you shouldn't have said that. I just talked to my attorney, and the key thing is having your EIN number before you exchange. So when the woman said it's already happened, it may have happened, but it doesn't matter until she exchanges. And if she wants to have it a trust, it doesn't have to be set up, but she has to have the EIN number and the name of what she's going to call her trust. And my attorney said, and I might be wrong, but this is what he said, you want to put it in that trust if that's where you're going to begin with. Well, no, Hoffman, darn I you. you. <laughs> I'm you going to have to disagree because, uh, because my attorney nice. said I can use my own Social Security number for my revocable trust. Yes, I know, but we right. don't, you don't know. need an EIN number. You can use either or. Either or. Social or EIN. Oh, EIN is the same thing. It's off your social. So it's either or. But the EIN protects you and hides your name. Yes, it does. Yeah, you're, you're, yes. Can, can I, do you guys mind if I come on this? Because I, I have one of these and I understand what the caller is asking. Uh, uh, first off, the young lady who was just on the phone, you can go right now to the government website and it'll cost you about, I want to say, $286 or so to register your trust, have, just have a name, and you'll get an EIN probably by the morning. And when you go in, you can use that to set up your trust uh, with Wells Fargo and they can coach you through it. But uh, basically, you can write a letter to yourself, you know, or uh, email, do it right now. And basically, in that, say that you want to have all of your foreign currency to be deposited in that trust. So that trust will be funded with your foreign currency. Then when the value changes, the value, all of that will be protected in the trust, which I believe is what she was asking. I was uh, muted out. I apologize. But, uh, and that is true. Uh, and that is not going to, and that will protect your identity, just the way the young lady on the phone right now is saying. Actually, but you don't have to pay the $200 yeah. 
I already went through that. They want $199 if you want to overnight it or have it within an hour. And then they have 149 for getting it in three days, or you can pay whatever. But if you go on a weekday, Monday through Friday, during their working hours, it's free. Yeah, that's great. Well, yeah, that, you know I, what, Nahavik, Nahavik, here, stop this right now. You can call 800 IRS whatever and get an EIN number immediately. Period. Well, End of story. So well, stop it is, about the to all the charges. If people go to IRS, they can possibly get on to the same one I mistakenly got on. But you, in the end, get it back in the mail from the IRS. It's just that you shouldn't be paying anything for it. And I'll... That, I'll that could very well be true. That sounds great. I'll start out, my dear Chris. I wish I was I'm just face. saying that you can call 800 IRS right now and get an EIN number in five minutes. So, let, I, um, because it's Blondie's call. Oh, oh, hold we're on. Gonna, you, we're you just going to stop this you, this conversation okay. right now because it's easy as one, two, three. Sorry, I just want to add. No, that you add. had to pay two hundred bucks. Yeah, that, but you can't get the number until Monday through Friday from seven a.m. to nine p.m. You can't get into it on the weekend. That's correct. Okay, so we have lots of questions here. Yep. This. Oh, Quincy. Six one seven, you're up. I guess not. Okay. I know, right? Atlanta. Hello. Hello. I hear hey, someone. Hey, Blond- Blondie. Blondie, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay. Hey, I, look, can, can we go back just a couple of callers? Because I think she asked a very pertinent question that a lot of people are going to wonder, and I want Martha and Tank and different ones to weigh in on. What basically she was asking was, how could we have an RV and Alan Greenspan and different people are over there trying to work with the cabinet or whatnot? She's saying, then, how can we be done? You know, and a lot of people have that question. How can we be done, but yet and still, if you look at the news and you look read the articles and whatnot, and we know about that, it's seeming to right still ahead. trying to work. Tank, go right ahead. You know, if, if you don't mind, uh, I mean, I have I have something that I could say on this way in, but uh, I prefer to um, defer to Mick because I need to go on that. That's what John's five, buddy, I'm saying. Yeah, Mick, did you understand her question, what she was asking, Mick? I didn't really hear it. I might not. I might have not been on the call yet when she was asking. Okay. Well, she was basically just asking what 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 I just said. You know, how can we be done and the bank have colds when, in fact, if you look at Iraq, it's looking like they're still trying okay, to work okay, through okay. the deal. Stop. Stop. Oh, stop, stop. You know who my source is. I'm telling you. Oh, I know it's yet. Done. It's done. It's all been handled. It's a need to know basis. Stuff that's going on behind the scenes, you're not going to know. I held a military clearance. It need to know. You guys need to be planning. How many times are you going to rehash this out? It's done. It's all done. You should be. You should be happy because we, we've got to that point. You guys. Oh yeah. No. No. I, I don't. I don't. I don't have a problem with that. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that was her question, and it was never addressed. Okay. Other than well, that. I'm, I, I'm addressing it. That's been handled. If they got something okay. going on with the cabinet, that's probably another issue. Right. And and so and I've said this, Blondie. We've talked about this. Whatever you're reading over there, those articles, generally that's happened a long time ago. They're just being mm-hmm. recycled. Uh, and then you know what you're seeing in the news is not accurate, hardly ever. I get that. Totally get that. Yeah. Yeah. Totally get that. Now I hope I hope that I answered your Nobody question. Nobody really answered what I was saying. Well, so what was that? Okay, you guys ready for some more questions? 
No, she just said, Bronte, she just said nobody's really answering what she was asking. Okay, let her ask me oh, a question. I, I kind of think directly. you just did. I, it's done. I don't know what you're looking at. I mean, are we all good here? Are we good? Yeah, she she had just said something, Blondie. So if she, I don't know if she's unmuted or not. But did, has that question been answered for you? It's good enough. Okay. Thank you. Great. You're welcome, ma'am. And and who was that? Just so I can figure out my board here. That said, it was good enough. Who just said that? Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. I'm Go sorry. ahead. So I thought I was lowering my hand. Uh, I guess I'm not unmuting myself, right? <laughs> well, <laughs> just tell me who you are. Just tell me who you are, and we'll, oh, and you, we'll all be good. The, oh, there's 770. You know, I don't even see your hand raised, but that's okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, If you're okay with what you heard, yeah, I'm, I'm good, fine. It, it, it kind of went all it went all around and got. I got my answer. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, all right. Okay, so we're gonna go to six one nine in San Diego. Six one nine, you're up. Six one nine. Guess he disappeared. So we're going to go to eight one six. Eight one six, you're up. Six one nine, are you there? Wandy? Yes. Are you there? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Go ahead. Oh, uh, the six one nine. Hey, you guys between you all and the wing it call, uh, you guys are awesome. I mean, you're the best call in town, hands down. Okay. Do you have a question? I do. Um I'm part of the Wells Fargo group, and my concern is about the NDA. Now, if we exchange through the Wells Fargo group, are we going to have to sign an NDA automatically, or can we choose between the market rate and the contract rate and then not sign an NDA? Or can we just okay. exchange on our or, or or can we just exchange on our own and then just take the market rate? Is, is that the better way? Okay, did that answer that for you, sir? No, I didn't hear any answer. Oh. I I asked I think- you can you, I asked you if, if if you're in the Wells Fargo group, is it better to just uh, – is there going to be an NDA automatically, or can you choose not to sign an NDA and take a lower market rate? Just Blondie's I, opinion, <clears throat> yes. You can, you can take – you know, sign whatever they want you to sign or sign nothing and take the market rate. Do you guys have any idea what the market rate is on the Zim? No. Oh. No one knows. Oh. And um, but that. it'll be it'll be like what if you went to a travel X to buy currency. That's gonna be the market rate. Let me um let me touch on that. Um you have a market rate, how good are you at negotiating? Well, I'm pretty good, and I have a lot of Zim, so. Okay. Well, write the number. I, my understanding is it's only going to be a 90-day 90 90 day, uh, NDA, like two, three pages. We just can't talk about the event and the rates. 
you know, but you, I, I'd have to go back to what Yusuf says. You take what's comfortable for you, what you can handle. If you can't handle it, don't do it because it'll run you. You're supposed to be yeah, running I, it. Oh, I mean, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be happy with a buck. Yeah, I mean, you know, you just be honest. It, it's what your gut feeling tells you. That's what I would go on. Yeah, I'm just not crazy it's, about signing. An, I'm just not crazy about signing an NDA. Then don't do it. You just answered your own question. Right. Hey, do you guys know where Yosef came from? He seems kind of like he uh, parachuted down like some sort of an angel or something, and. Uh, well, you'll have to find out your own identity, and you'll get your answers. Okay. All right. But, That's Tank, it. we thought you were an angel. <laughs> you can't burst our bubble like that. All right. Thank okay, you, Okay, so we're going to go to another caller here. And it's going to be 773 in Georgia. 773? Or 678. 678. Hello? Go ahead. Hi, this is Doria from Chicago. Hi, Mike. Hi, Tang. Hello. How my are question, you guys? Well, how are you? Good. Mike, my question is, is that the code went out at 5 in the morning yesterday. We got 72 hours in which the code expired. This has mm -hmm. happened several times where we had code and it has expired. I need to know your take on this code expiring and what do you think? Because I think We've had cold about two or three times in the expiry with that 72 hours. Do you think that this is going to expire? It does. I will say it again. It's done. I'm going to say You should be excited. That's my thoughts on it. Um, I'm, with, I'm with Mick. Um, I'll say this. I don't think the code is going to expire. And I would also say... I don't think there's any mistakes in this either. I don't think uh, the previous reports we had about rates, uh, about codes being available, um, I don't think they were entirely accurate. They're definitely plausible. Uh, I think that where we're at right now is that everything that has been done has been to prepare us for this moment. And at this point, we have never had such free-flowing information as we do right now. Um, you know, to Ray Rand's credit, uh, you know, I, I he's very, very conservative, and I know people can be very tough on him, but that man does not put out anything that he has not vetted through several sources. Uh, for him to put it out, and then I, and, you know, I can tell you from my own bank sources, I can verify that from seven other sources that that is 100% accurate, and I can tell you that there are so many things in place right now that have never been in place that my instinct and uh, my feeling is that there's no way to, for this to fail at this point. And when Mick says, is it done? You know, he, he's speaking with some authority. So that's what I would say. I'd say that you are in a great place. What Mick just said is 100% accurate. You should be very excited. It's, it's go time. It's what you've been waiting for. Oh, okay. Well, thanks, Frank, and thanks, Mike, and everybody. You're welcome. Hello, Martha, too. All right. How Have are you? Have a good night. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. 301. Miracle Three oh one. Go ahead. Miracle Queen. Oh, Miracle Queen. How, How are, are you? you? I'm good. I have a couple questions. Are we going to be able to uh, get 800 numbers? Yes. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Yes, ma'am. We will get 800 numbers. We will get 800 Now, 
I'm sorry. No, no, go ahead, go ahead. Now they're saying that the the uh the uh whatever's on the screen does that mean that we can go to the bank uh, or are they still got administrative hold? The codes are in the codes are available uh, yes, at the banks with the release for the administrative codes for the administrative hold. Excuse me. And as we of have right now. Out. Yes, yes, ma'am. Go ahead. So you don't know when those codes will be released. Well, what I what I know what I know is that uh, it was reported that those codes were in the bank at 5:30 a.m. this morning. But I've also heard that they were there yesterday. So I can't I can't say beyond question it's 72 hours from 5:30 a.m. this morning because that 72 hour period may very well started yesterday uh, because we were told. Uh, and that there was whales that began. And it could be possible that those codes were needed for the whale to exchange. So if they started... Sure. No, they were there once before and they expired. So will this code expire, do you know? No. I don't know, ma'am, but I don't, I, don't, I don't expect it to know. Now, will all the banks have be able to exchange, like, TD Bank, or is it just Wells Fargo? Other banks will be able to exchange. You decide where you want to exchange your currency, and you're going to call the 1-800 number. And that's the best I know. Now, they might have a different 800 number for every bank. Uh, yeah, there's but... also a, a possibility that if you could just call 1-800 number, they could ask you what bank you want to exchange at. You know, that those details, I know there's different versions and different possibilities. Uh, however, I do know that they want it done in an organized fashion, and I do know that they, without question, are going to be very helpful and uh, in, in direct you the right way. Mm -hmm. The one thing I have to say is that when you go to exchange, take all of your currency and make sure you get all done all at once. Will all the banks be doing uh, the Zim or just uh, a Wells Fargo? All the banks, to the best of my knowledge, will be doing the Zim. I, I can't speak unequivocally that all of them have. I have confirmed them with at least six different banks, um, and I, I can tell you that uh, it's TD depending Bank on what you want to do, TD Bank is one of them, yes. Uh-huh. Okay, so <laughs> there's a possibility we, I can go tomorrow? There is a possibility. It all depends on if the 800 numbers get released tonight. I think that will be the, the signal for the shotgun start for all of us. Mm -hmm. um, so... I think that we're in very much a good place, and I, I'm uh, very much in agreement with that, uh, that Canada and the U.S. had to go at the same time. And I find the uh, most encouraging report I've heard all night is I have received now, as of this moment, seven different confirmations about uh, the, well, I, I believe it's the Royal Crown Bank, something some to that effect in, uh, in Canada, that is, it definitely has the codes in there anxiously awaiting the release to get this going. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, you all are still on top. Thanks very much. Okay, Miracle uh, Queen, if, the, if we get the get-go to go tomorrow, are you in good shape to get there? Oh, I'm ready to go right now. Okay. <laughs> and what color is your hat? Just asking. What currencies, care, do, you know? what currencies do I have? No, I said what color is your hat? M my hair is blonde right no, now. No, your hat. Your hat. <laughs> H-A-T, honey. Your hat. Oh, I'm not wearing a hat. I'm just teasing you, sweetie. I know you are, darling. Okay, so hang on with us. Hang on with us. We have lots of questions here. Oh, okay. Wonderful. It's good to All talk right. to you. You too, sweetie. Hang on with us. Okay. Okay, we are going to Missouri. 816. Hello? 
Hello? 816, 816, are you here? Hello? Yeah, we're here. Hello? We're here. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Uh, yes, I was listening to a call the other day. I, okay, let me back up. How you doing, Blondie? I'm sorry. And all your guests and all the... And all the gurus you have on there. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, Yousef was on one of the calls the other day, and he said that a 500 million Zim will be worth five times as a 100 trillion Zim when they remove the zeros off the trillion Zim. Is that correct? That is correct. I don't know. Let me ask if one of our hosts can have have that answer. This is Mick, yes. Go ahead. Wow, okay. Okay, so that means that a hundred trillion Zim, when they take the zeros off, will actually be worth the same as a hundred million note of Zim. Yeah. Wow, they just they're just selling those hundred. You can get like those hundred trillion Zims are going for like forty five and fifty, like five times as much as a hundred million. Okay, but my question's been answered. I thank you guys very much. You're welcome. Thank, right. thank, thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay, we're going to Ladue, Missouri, 314. 314, go ahead. Hello. 314? Hello. Yes, 314, we can hear you. You can hear me? Yes. Okay, I my questions. I think they've answered all my questions. I want to say that you all have done a great job in keeping us informed. And I just want to thank you all for all that you've done. Uh, because a lot of information that we may have got from other places, you all have brought it to a point where we can understand. And my question was about the 800 nuns, but Miracle Queen uh, asked, the, uh, asked the question. So it was good. I just want to tell you all, thank you so much for taking us through this. And I know you all will still be on the lines later to even help even the more. I just want to say thank you. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Hey, hey, Blondie. Uh, yes, Blondie. sir. Go ahead. Hey, is that Ladue, Missouri person? Is she on? Um, is she on our site? If she is, uh, tell her to PM me. Can you say that again, B? No, I'm not on your site because I don't know how to. How, I'm not on your site. Okay. Uh, okay. All right. You want to take my number? You can just call me. Okay, Blondie. Do you have that number? And. Uh, Oh, above my pay grade, but um, WSOMN ten fifteen at yahoo dot com. Not, not, yeah, uh, no, Blondie, do you see the number she's calling from? Oh, hang on, yeah. I, I just okay, need tec- to write it hey, down. Hey, later on, just text it to me after the call. Okay. I can do that. Thanks. 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 Give me 30 <laughs> seconds here, folks. <laughs> okay, I I got it. Um, okay, so now we're going to go to Grand Prairie again, 972. 972, come on in. Hello. Hello, sir. Hello. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes. I can hear you. Hold on. I do to meet you. Sorry, uh, is Wolfie around? Is what? Wolfie is who still, on? Is Wolfie still in the house? Did you say Wolfie? Wolfie? Yeah. Um, Wolfie, are you here? I think Wolfie left the hotel. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Uh, anyway... Uh, Martha said something earlier about uh, the banks in Texas on the go. Uh, the last 
last thing I read a couple of weeks ago was they're still taking bids on uh, construction, and uh, uh, Loomis has uh, proposed a bid for uh, storing the gold once it comes from New York. I didn't really have a question, but uh, there was one. Other, there was one other thing, but I just want to. Uh, I was going to say something, Wolfie, about uh, whether or not his neighbors uh, would get. Never mind. I'll pass that. I'll pass it to uh, a later date. Thank you. Anyway. You know, I don't see Martha in the room. But if anyone else can address that of our guests, please unmute and go ahead. Well, sorry, sir, but no answer to that. All right, thanks. Um, okay, but thank you. Okay, we're going to go to 918, 918. Yes. Go ahead. Uh, thank you. I was uh, read an article here the other day on the Internet uh, talking about this process that we've gone through. We've had bad information, good information, misinformation, <clears throat> the sting, and the trial balloon, and I'm a little confused uh, if some of you all could answer it. When, in your opinion, does the new government indeed take over? I I'm confused. My understanding, this is Mick, by the way. Okay. Um, this is based on the last time that I had spoken to a certain person. It sounded like my understanding that we're going to make the announcement when we're going gold back, and I think the RV and the NSR are going to go in effect at the same time. Is that is that what you're asking me? Asking yes, you? yes. Uh, as it's, as now, uh, based on my understanding as it stands, my by my source, that's what's supposed to happen. But you know how stuff can change. Okay, and uh, still going to have the... The new members uh, uh, taking office and things like that that was in the past. My understanding. Hey, you might want to call and there'll be some positions open. Uh, no, no thanks. <laughs> so uh, we'll we'll have the RV. We'll go through that process, and simultaneously, the Sarah Law will be in effect, from what you're telling me, and then the new government will come aboard. Is that correct? That's that's the way I understand it. Okay. All right. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh -huh. Okay. Seven, seven, three. Hello, Blondie. How are you? I, I think I'm pretty good. I've been told I'm pretty good. So how are you? Yeah, I know. I am fine. Hello all your to all your guests as well. You guys are great. I appreciate the show. I call it a show because it gets that way sometimes. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Isn't it? That's yeah. true. Yeah. We gotta kill some Look, time here. I know, I know. I got two answers. I believe I have two answers for two of the questions that came up earlier. Um, <laughs> the one, the one regarding the real. Um, on on the eighth of May, 2015, there was a letter from the Treasury Department that stated that it was okay to hold the real. Let me see if I can go back to it. Uh, it came from the Treasury Department, and one of um, this guy uh, KJ has a real call, and. Uh, he put out the letters to everyone that needed it or wanted it. So the real is is not okay. It's, the, the real is okay to have, and it will be okay to exchange. 
Okay. Can you hear me? Uh, yeah. yeah, I can verify that. I know, I know exactly what you're talking about. I, I heard you talking about that. Okay. All right. I'm hearing some other talking in the background. I don't know who that is. And the, the second one that I had was for the lady that had the question regarding the RV and um, the trust. Now, I think what she was trying to ask had to deal with well, whether the uh, RV was, was if it if it if it was said. Who's that talking? Can you guys hear me? Okay. We can hear you, man. You're fine. You're fine. Oh, okay. Nick, Nick, Nick had to take a call. Okay. Yeah, the RV has not happened for us until we have been allowed to go. And I can qualify that with going to the bank, being able to purchase the same currencies at the same rate. So until that rate changes, the RV hasn't happened for us, even though they're saying that uh, everything is done. Everything is done. Yep. And and that's the question. That's the second one that I had the answer for. I hope that answers her question regarding her trust. I think that's an absolutely outstanding point. Well, here's my understanding right now. But he said... Uh, yeah, I, I agree, and I think she was also she wanted to know she had a time to set up a trust. Uh, and what I I was trying to say, and I understood why, that if you set up a trust and you have your funds set in the trust ahead of time, then you know you can manage it differently. You can keep some privacy. So what I was saying is what the young lady mentioned about getting the EIN number was absolutely correct. Uh, but if you use a Wyoming trust, you can you can set that money right in there. And uh, and then you don't you know it goes right in there you have to go through the process but 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 I agree with you you're 100 percent right I think that was an excellent uh, answer and I appreciate you coming to clarify. Okay. Uh, Anytime I can help. Anytime. And that's all I have for you guys. Thanks a lot, Blondie, for taking my call. Thank you, sir. All righty. When we are the the Sarah law goes into effect then. He said that's my understanding. Then you might want to mute this line to be on a call. Announced that we go back. Then somebody the just having their own call in the background. I'm like, who is that guy talking? <laughs> yeah, somebody's got some very serious background going on. Uh, Blondie, that, that's a mixed call. Uh, he had to take a call. And, um, Why don't he mute his phone? All them, he said. But no. things, as you know, can change. Hey, Tank. Tank, if that's you speaking. <laughs> I wanted to say, you are so full of Okay, well, I guess we're going to go to <laughs> we're going to go to 619 again. 619, have we already been to you? Oh, yes, Blindy. Okay, thank you. Thank you. A one seven. Yes, uh, Blondie. I heard I heard something about an example of five hundred million Zim and what it would be equal to. I think. Could you repeat that answer? I can't. But let me see if someone else can. If that'll work for you, because. That would That's work kind of fine, anybody. To me. That's confusing to me as well. So, Tank? Yep, I got you. Or Mick? Can, no, I got can it. Can either of you, you gentlemen go with that? Yes, Blondie, can you hear me? Yep, can hear you. Go ahead. Here's how it works. The trillion notes will have six zeros taken off of them. So the trillion becomes... A million. I mean, like, so 100 trillion becomes 100 million. 
a hundred billion becomes a hundred million. A hundred million stays a hundred million. It's accepted as face value. So if you have a five hundred million dollar note, uh, five hundred million dollars Zim note, it is five hundred million, and you'll be able to whatever the per dollar amount is on the Zim, you'll be able to exchange with that. Okay, I just didn't understand what they were saying. They said it so fast, and I missed it. Okay. Yeah. Well, now I yeah. know what they're talking sense? about. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, thank, thank you, Blondie. Thank, thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Tank, um, can you explain the rationale behind that? I mean, you know, that's just sort of an esoterical question, but what is the rationale that they can lop off six zeros off that hundred trillion, but not off the five hundred million? And I, and that's just a curiosity question. Sure. Uh, I mean, I could give you an idea. I mean. Um, I know that they are recognized as historical bonds. They can only take off, uh, my understanding is they can take off nine zeros in a year. Uh, so they're taking three off the trillion-dollar note, and they're taking six off the billion. Um, that's the extent of my knowledge on it. I really can't speak to it more intelligently than that. Um, you know, thanks, I know you're correct, Bodie. You're oh, correct. Thanks, Bodie. Go, Bodie. Oh, no, I was just agreeing with Tank. They They can only take off six off of one, they're doing six off the trillion, and then three off the billion, so that leaves the million notes. So the million stand as they are. So if you have 500 million, the trillion turns into 100 equals 100 million with the zeros taken off. The million notes stand alone. They, they don't get any zeros taken off. So that's where they're worth more. 500 million is worth 500 million. And and so what's the rationale, Bodhi? I'm, I'm just and again, I'm just curious. The, there's no rationale. It's just the law. It's in their law that they could take. You know, that's they can't. They can only take off so many zeros. Like Tank said, nine. So they chose to do six off the trillion and and three off the billion. So they're not allowed to take any more off within within the year. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You that makes sense. And, and anything else, Tank, on that? Nope, nothing else. Okay, well, I think we've answered all the questions have been answered. So, unless anybody has any summation, jump in. Uh, hey, uh, Bodia, or, uh, sorry, uh, Blondie, I, I did just receive uh, some information that I think will be valuable to people um, that. The report from Zap about his uh, about bonds being released on Tuesday uh, that the that there was a the delay was due to bankers of some kind trying to steal money I guess something to that effect uh, but the issue has been resolved and that money will actually be released on Tuesday which is a good indication of where we're at overall. Wonderful. Thank you. And thanks, everyone, for jumping in at the late minute of this call. And I appreciate everyone's participation. So we're going to end the call. Thanks, everybody. Talk to you later.